Okay, we are asked to find area of tri triangle ABC. Looking at this diagram, uh, is very the equation is very tricky because assuming angle BAC is 90, 90 degrees would have been easier, but they gave us only this to be 90. So what we have to do is we need to partition this into two triangles. So if we let BD be X, so here will be 4 plus 2H minus X since the total is 4 plus 2H so the remaining here will be 4 plus 2H minus X so we now have two triangles so in triangle in triangle that's the smaller one yeah. in triangle a d b we have that x squared plus h squared is 4 root 2 squared that's by pythagorean theorem so which is x squared plus h squared equal to 32 so that's our equation one so coming to the second triangle in triangle a D C A D C is now equal to in triangle A D C we can see that H squared okay maybe let's write down that H squared plus 4 plus 2h minus x all squared is equal to 5 root 4 root 5 squared but by pythagorean theorem again so let's expand this bracket so there's way we solve this so that it will be easy for us we have h squared plus x squared is 32 so 32 plus 16 is 48 80 minus 48 is 32 so I'm left with 16H plus 4H squared. This one has 4 and 2. So we can factor 2. I know what I'm doing. So if we factor 2, we have 4. So minus 4X. We are left with 2 plus H is equal to 32. Do you get this plus this is 32. So 32 plus 16 is 48. 80 minus 48 is 32. So why here? 2 is common. I factor 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The x is here. So we're left with 2 plus h. So as you can see, why I factor? Because I noticed they will have the same common factor. So if I reduce more, so 4 in 16 is 4. So I have 4h plus h squared minus x times 2 plus h is equal to 8 so from here you you notice that from here if we make x the subject of formula I now have square root of 32 minus h squared so making x the subject of formula so i substitute wherever i see escalate that so let's go over to the other page so we now replace x with square root 32 minus h squared 2 plus h equal to it so let's make this the subject of formula because i want to remove this radical sign so this goes over to because i have this is now 32 minus h squared times 2 plus h why this is 4h plus h squared minus 8 so this goes over to be square root of that this goes over to be 2 plus h 4h plus h squared minus 
is 32 minus h square so the square root will go over goes over to that side to be squared and again we can write this as 4h plus h square minus 8 all squared over 2 plus h all square but the this will cross multiply at once so we have 2 plus h squared times 32 minus h squared so that's it so let's expand this so if we expand this we have 16 hex squared plus 8 h cube plus h4 minus 16 4 h plus h squared plus 64 that's the expansion of this is equal to 4 plus 4h plus h squared times 32 minus h squared so we, we need to expand this so this let's repeat 16h squared plus 8h cubed plus 4 plus h raised to the power 4 minus okay let's open up this 64h minus 16 h squared plus 64 is equal to this is the remember this that to that two times that is 128 plus 128 h plus 32 h 32 h squared minus 4 h squared minus 4h cube minus h raised to power 4 so let's continue let like them so i'm having h raised to power 4 and i have minus so coming to that side is now plus i have 2 h raised to power 4 plus okay this is h cube is there any other okay this is minus 4 so coming to here is now plus 12 h cube do you get 8 cube 8 h cube plus 4 h cube because this goes over to be positive so we are done with 3 let's look for 2 16 16 is off i have 32 x squared here is there honor i have 4 so 32 minus 32 minus 4 is 28 so 28 comes over to be minus 28 is good you get these ones are of this and this so i just left with this so this comes over so what of h this minus 64 h any other one Okay, this is only the one here so this will go over to be minus that is minus 64 h crosses over to that side to be 192 h so we are done with h, h so the constant any other constant so this okay minus 64 minus 1 so minus 64 what is this so i have a polynomial fourth other polynomial and as you can see we can still reduce reduce more so divide both side by two i have h raised to power four plus six h cube minus 14 h squared minus 96 h minus 32 equal to zero so this is this is also a fourth order polynomial so we'll solve using synthetic division so let's write the coefficient of this we have one 6 minus 14 minus 96 minus 32 so i will draw a line like this so let's assume that the roots from uh, something let's assume 4 the root to be 4 so if you bring down 1 4 times 1 is 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 this time that is 40 adding this is 26 so 4 times 26 is to carry 104 
so if you add this i think it's eight eight one oh four okay eight four times eight is thirty two so adding this we have zero so our remainder this is the remainder this is called synthetic division a first word dividing a polynomial that's when the divisor is a linear function so it's, as you can see we can write this now we can write all this as h minus 4 because this is a factor now why these are the coefficient of the quotient so which is h cube plus 10 h squared plus 26 h minus plus 8 so if i expand this i get back this. so i'm uh, looking at this looking at this the remainder is zero and the signs here are positive so meaning four is an upper bound so just if you don't know much about synthetic division there's what you call lower bound upper bound so this shows that four is the highest root of this polynomial so let me test other roots others will be smaller than four so let's test minus four so because i want to reduce this I I'm, I'm solving this so i'm using synthetic division for the second time so i'm using the equation here is 1 10 26 8 so i'm using minus 4 because i want to i want to factor this more so I'll, I'll cross this so this is 1 minus 4 6 minus 24 that's 2 minus 8 so if you add 0 so what do you have to say again the remainder is 0 means it's a factor so i can write this as h minus 4 for this why this is now h plus 4 because minus 4 is the root so h plus 4 is a factor why this is h plus h squared plus 6h plus 2 so I've, I've, I've factored this to be this and again let's solve for this because I want to solve to this okay we can factor we can factor okay let's solve for this you know this implies in solving this for the product to be implies that h minus 4 is 0 or h plus 4 is 0 or h squared plus 6h plus 2 is 0 so if you solve this you notice that that h is 4 for this case h is minus 4 and for this we can factor so let's use qu quadratic formula so we now see that h is equal to this this is minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus take minus 2 so minus which is minus plus or minus minus 3 plus or minus 7 and if you look at this we have four answers one two you know this is two two and one answer. so you notice that this is this is negative the height cannot be negative the height is always positive so you can see that the height this is off negative height this is also the two answers here will give us negative the height is four but we are asked to find the area remember our main aim is to find the area area of this triangle abc and area is half base times height so we need to get we need to get the base so we now see that therefore area is half our base is our base is 4 plus 2 h and our height is h so base is 4 plus 2 h and our height is h 
And now we've got two HRs, four, so I have half times two times four, eight, 12 times four. So the answer is 24. So the area of this triangle ABC is 24. So it's a very tricky, very tricky question. So thank you.